Hi guys and welcome to another IBM BPM technical tutorial. In this edition we're going to talk about the Salient Process External Participant Support Toolkit. That's a mouthful but uh, the idea here is very very powerful and very simple to use. The notion is that there can be BPM processes where we want users to interact with uh, user tasks where those users exist on the internet or perhaps just outside your enterprise, maybe their business partners. But the bottom line here is that when we normally look at a BPM process, we normally think of user tasks within the process as causing the process to block, which is right, and then the task becomes available to the user through the process portal. So a user would sign on, look at their work list, see in the process portal that there's a task waiting their attention, claim that task, work on it, complete the task, and then the process is allowed to continue. That's great, that's exactly how it should be. However, what about those circumstances where the user that we wish to complete the task is external to BPM, meaning perhaps we don't know their identity, or rather they don't have a user ID within the BPM environment. They don't have access to Process Portal, and in many cases we simply don't want them to have access to Process Portal. For example, and we'll look at this as an example story, imagine we're running a business and we get orders from customers. We want to review the order and if there's something wrong with it or we need more clarification, we want to inform or request from the originator of the order more information. That, uh, that user who created the order should somehow be able to enter the requested information and then maybe we go back and review the order. However, this request for information, this may go out to a customer on the internet. So for example if I'm ordering red widgets and we're out of stock on red widgets and all we got are blue widgets, maybe I want to ask the customer for permission to send them blue widgets and that customer on the internet doesn't have access to process portal. But ideally, ideally we'd love to pretend that the user does. So for example in our process this model is absolutely correct. We want to have a user task where an external participant, an external user, can interact with the process and then uh, the process continues. But obviously from a technical perspective without a sign-on to BPM we can't do that. Or can we? With the salient process external participant support toolkit. Salient provides the capability to externalize user tasks and more, but for right now we're only going to focus on user tasks, allows us to externalize user tasks such that a user on the internet without a BPM login can work on a task and complete that task. And when we say work on a task, we really do mean see the coaches and see the screens associated with that task and work on them. At a very, very high level, the way this works is that when this task is reached, a token is generated. It's a very long UUID. It's, it's not sequential and it wouldn't be guessable. That token can then be emailed to the customer or otherwise supplied in a text message or some other mechanism. And knowing that token, the user can then interact with the BPM system. Since the token is dynamically generated and is only available to that user, in principle, only that user through a secure email will be able to interact with the system. So let's see how this works. In order to use this service, we uh, specify that our, uh, our task is created as normal. And if we drill into this, we'll see that it's just literally, literally, let me see if I can drill into this. Easier said than done. Let me bring it up through user interfaces. Uh, review, request information. It is literally a coach. 
and the coach looks like this we receive some comments yada 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 and we send it back so it is simply a coach no more and no less than any ordinary coach but to engage the external participant support we select our task and in the assignments we say that it's going to be assigned to this team filters or by this team filter service and this is what is supplied as part of the external participant support toolkit a service or a, a team filter service called assign and notify external participant now this takes some information as input specifically it takes the email address that we should send an email to a subject line for the email and the body of the email and in the body if we enclose in this link uh, uh, angle brackets this will inject into the email a link which when clicked will allow us to work on that particular task cool cool we like that all right now there's some other technical detail and we'll come to that in a later tutorial but for now let's go ahead and run this process so I run the process we're at the review order and my process has got some sample data in it so when I bring up this step here's the order the customer wants to order widget 1 they want red and they want 10 oh no we're out of red let's say we are out of red please choose another 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 color and then we say we request information now this has caused the BPM process to pass through this we asked for more information and now we're waiting at this user task from a BPM perspective all is good we're waiting on this user task now if I switch over to my email subsystem bear with me while I find this if I switch over to my email subsystem here and we go into my inbox and I say get me some messages we see that we have a new email received if I open that email we see an email question on your order please open this link now watch how it happens if I click open this link now I'm just a regular email user I'm not signed into anything if I click on open this link what happens is a BPM task is brought up notice I never had to sign on and I'm seeing the question etc etc and I'll change this okay I'll order blue widgets that's fine hit the send button the task is completed now if I go back to my BPM process and refresh my process we see here that we're back to this step because this task now completed and we're back to the review order and if I bring that up one more time we see that the order has changed to blue so the core thing here the core thing here is that through the external participant support toolkit we can securely expose BPM tasks to external users where those external users do not need to have BPM credentials in order to sign on the only thing they need is the quote-unquote magically generated token which is sent to them in a link in the email that's sent to them now in future presentations we'll show you that email is not the only mechanism we can include uh, links in arbitrary technologies such as uh, text messages and uh, PDF documents and various other things but uh, for this simple scenario I've given you the high-level pers perspective on what the external participant support toolkit does for us I hope you found this useful and I look forward to making more of these presentations for you in the future. Thanks guys and bye-bye.